What's going on guys, Sir Wayne here, bringing you guys a Day 1 100 map that I have just started uh, with a buddy of mine, Pooch way over here, uh, as England, whatever England it is, <laughs> and uh, a buddy of mine over here in South China, who kind of joined in late, so he's way over there, and we're very split up, so we're having to come up with a strategy uh, that is probably not your typical strategy but uh as what we're doing or what we're doing is uh play basically inst instead of trying to meet up i don't want to try to meet up with him and connect with him i want to uh play kind of like we're all going to be a solo uh basically like we we don't exist essentially to each other and we just play a solo 100 and then if we can meet together we meet together and we and we become allies and such but we join different coalitions if we need to not to get intel or anything like that just to we're playing it solo by ourselves and if we can help each other we will help each other and if we can actually connect with each other and become allies we will do that as well but it's not a big deal uh, but this is the only strategy that we have found that actually works where we actually win the 100s or that I found that I were I actually win the 100s rather than, you know, getting with a teammate uh, and, and, and really putting yourself out there and saying, I'm going to protect you and then I'm going to send troops and then taking away from your own ability to win the game. And it's just not good on either part, you know, so, you know, I wouldn't want them to come and help me because that would take away their advantage so uh but what's going on in this map is you know as usual um there's trash talk in the paper <laughs> you got people in, in in the paper talking about uh hell hitler and shut up and da 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 and da 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 and it's, it's a bunch of blah you know how it is day one so uh just a bunch of trash talk so you just ignore it don't bother with it uh you know if you've watch my video over the newspaper then you know you shouldn't be uh, associating yourself in the paper because if you do it could cause you to lose the game so you just stay out of it you know but anyway so uh to my left i've made allies with uh Albe alberto um he doesn't seem to be very threatening you know his his ranking is pretty lackluster so I'm not worried about him. I convinced him to ally with me and move his troops off my borders so I could have a free hand in attacking this guy over here. This is an NPC. This is an NPC. This here is an NPC. And this guy and this guy, Northwest and British Columbia, are allies in a coalition, the Punishers. And they're all full of five. So what's that mean, guys? That means... That I can't join them. What also does that mean? That also means that they are a threat. As well as Texas down here also has a coalition called the Americans. And I think they're full too. No, there's only two of them. Okay, so there's not, there's no, they're not really a necessary threat. But the difference between having a full, an alliance, a coalition, and not is uh, a lot of people feel... Uh, in this and in, in, in cases this really is true, but in some cases it's not where it, a full coalition you can't get into it So that means they're automatically enemy, right? So uh, You got to take that in consideration and this guy is advancing Northwest into Montana and he'll be right underneath me So I need to be ready for him to attack me or for the possibility at, at least So I will have to build an army to deal with that Luckily, because I, 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 I ally with Alberto, so he's able to see his troops and what he's doing. And as you can see, he has no artillery or anything like that. And this is just not that much to deal with, even though I don't have much to defend with. But I can easily bring something to the table to deal with it. Uh, so good thing he's able to see what's going on and what he's attacking with. Uh, unfortunately... Here, there should be an army here. I would like to know what that is. So you're kind of a little bit in the dark, but at the same time, you're not. So we'll just see what hap happens, but we'll have to take some defense precautions. But luckily, there's no provinces here that are, you know, 
really that I care for. I don't care for food. I don't use food. It's not really part of my strategy. So losing that's not a big deal. But I want to hold battle for no matter what. And, of course, my capital, no matter what. And my uh, Prince Albert here is uh, a city of my goods, which is these two cities here are my important, most important. So I want to make sure I hold them at all costs. So if they invade me, I will need to have a defensive force probably somewhere here. And then if they do attack this way up toward battlefield, I can divert because I'll have the speed advantage. Because uh, I will be using ACs and I will be building ACs and artillery, ACs here and artillery here. So I will be able to, at the very least, use my speed to get here and protect battle for before him or get to on the outskirts here to protect battle for it. So protect that iron. So, um, I mean, there's not a whole lot going on at day one, but you know, as you can see, I'm already strategizing, already looking to see what's going to happen and, and planning what's, what I need to do. Um, I feel like I can hold this guy off defensively while I make more troops, and then I can just use these forces that I have built and just continue smashing through here and taking everything. And hopefully Pooch, he's attacking here, my ally, and he is moving up. Hopefully he will take all of that, and then I will have all of North USA and we'll be connected, and that will be awesome. But I don't, I really hope he's not doing this at, and risking himself, I don't think he is, but um, I, I just hope he doesn't because you can, you know, you don't want to risk yourself. And I'm, I think I, I feel like I'm doing pretty well as far as not risking myself and invading. You want to play to the point where you don't want them, you where you attack somebody and then they attack you. So, but he's been at war for a little bit and it, nobody's attacking him. So I say he's in the clear. This is a computer. This is not, and this is clearly not, and this is not. So hope maybe so he's really got two people to worry at, worry about. That's a punisher, and this is a punisher of the coalition. So he's got two, so one, two, and then three and four. There's the four coalition members. Who is the fifth? Uh Quebec, Kentucky. Kentucky. They're a little spread out, ain't they? Kentucky. Ooh, Kentucky's to get, is, is getting some damage, bro. Texas going in on him. Okay. But I'm really surprised, you know, that, you know, he, he I'm going to have to tell him. he Pooch, if you're watching this, dude, you need to check out this because they're both in the same coalition. So if they do want to connect, they'll go through you to connect. If they kill you, they connect. So that's... A, a common strategy to try to do that but you know what probably Illinois is trying to send help to help Kentucky here and that's maybe their game plan is to help that way and then maybe the attack to you could be from Quebec or he could go somewhere else maybe he goes into that so maybe we could get lucky I hope we can get lucky and hopefully we can get the NPCs, they, uh, the players to attack the NPCs, and then I can just t attack the players and kill the players and take all of it. That would be nice. But that is going to be the day one of this, and I will try to make this a follow-up so you can see what is going on. But this is going to be my day one. Thank you guys so much. Like, comment, and subscribe.